How's it going everyone? JKXBX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Got another little money method tutorial for you guys today. And this one is how to get anywhere from 10 to 20,000 credits every minute. Now the reason I word it like that is because it sounds a lot more attractive. Instead of someone saying, oh you can get a million credits an hour or 800,000 credits an hour, hearing it 20,000 credits per minute, that sounds a lot more interesting. And I will say this right now, this is not a glitch, this is a method. So this is completely legitimate, you can't get banned for it, it's just a normal method in the game. Which, I don't know if anyone's uploaded this method before, if they have, I'm not copying them. It's just that I like to find my own ways and my favourite ways and share my favourite ways to all of you. Anyway, it all relies on a road racing series race. Many of you know that doing 50 laps of a certain track can give you a lot of credits, for example... 50 laps of this could give you a lot, but the track isn't very big, um, so you might not get a massive amount. So obviously the longer the lap, the more credits you get. However, if you can do the lap quickly, you'll obviously get a lot more credits for the time that it takes you to do the race, which is why I like doing this one up here. You can see it's quite a long track. It goes around the whole mountain. However, because it's very curved and very straight at times, you can get the lap done in 55 seconds per lap. It will take you only 45 to 50 minutes to complete this 50 lap race. And in those 45 to 50 minutes, after you complete the race, you will get anywhere between 300,000 and 500,000 credits, along with tons of wheel spins, and also you'll level up your road racing series as well. Right here. If I go and do 50 laps of this now, I'll probably get from level 16 straight up to level 18, maybe even level 19, just after a 50 lap race, which will only take 45 minutes. So what you do is you go up to it, I'll show you right now. I'm going to show 50 laps on this, on this video, by the way, so you can see how many credits I personally get for spending 45 minutes doing a race, and you'll see that it's definitely worth it. So, here's the race here. You go to solo and you have to make sure to create your own blueprint, which you click right here. Go to anything goes, so you can choose any car you want. And then make sure, open class obviously. Make sure you go to event settings and turn the laps to 50. Make sure to turn prime time progression to fixed, weather to clear, time of day to early afternoon. So you have that nice bright sky so you can purely concentrate on just getting the laps done. And there we have it. Now, I would highly recommend choosing a Forza Edition car if you have one. I have quite a lot. However, I don't really have any hyper cars that are a Forza Edition. So, I'm just going to use the Koenigsegg. However, if you've got a Forza Edition, use that. To maximise the credits you get from this race, I would want, as I just said, recommend using a Forza Edition for the boost. I would recommend going to your difficulty and maybe pumping it up a little. You're not going to need the racing line, so you can turn that off. You can put quite a high difficulty because it's pretty easy to win a 50 lap race. And turn traction and stability control off. Just put your difficulty as, as extreme as you're comfortable. And one last thing is go to your car mastery with whatever car you're using and see if there's anything like this. For example, this one. Skills banked while racing your car gain a 200% influence bonus for the next 10, 10 campaign races. If you have a look through here and see which ones give you a campaign race boost, I'd highly recommend choosing it just for these races. Me personally, I am not going to do it with a Forza Edition car, and I'm not going to do it with any skill boosts. So you can see what the minimum amount of credits that you'll get in this 50 lap race is. And we're going to do a bit of calculating and you'll see exactly how many credits I got per minute of me racing. So, I'll do the 50 laps right now. I'll enjoy myself. I'll watch a podcast or two. Because the good thing about this race, it's a very relaxing race, I would say. There's no sharp corners. There's no sharp braking. You can just go flat out. And it's pretty easy. So, I'm going to get to the 49th lap. And I will be right back to you in just over 45 minutes. Okay everyone, here we go. I'm on the second to last lap right now. It's going to take me about 50 minutes in total, which is still pretty good. And uh, as soon as we cross over the line, we'll be able to see how many credits I got, how many wheel spins I got, and how much credits we get from the wheel spins, so we can kind of add up and see 
how many credits I got per minute that I did this race. Now, as I said before, I'm not even using a Forza Edition, and I didn't use any skill boosts either. And if you use those, you'll get even more. So it, it can be pretty insane. So here we are, coming up to the finish line in a minute. Let's see how many credits I get, shall we? 50 laps, and it's taken me 50 minutes and about 15 seconds it's going to be. There we go. That didn't feel like it took very long at all, and across the line. So, let's continue, see what we were rewarded. Continue through that. So credits-wise, I've been given half a million credits for 50 minutes. And then influence, 107,000 influence, which is also really good. Let's see how many times we level up. So we've leveled up with road racing there. Looks like we may upload. Yeah, we've leveled the road racing up again, which is good. We're going to get another level up. Not quite another level up for that, but 177. Let's see how high that goes. Oh, there we go. First wheel spin now. 15,000 credits. So, let me get my calculator out. We got half a million plus 15,000. And we're going to do all our wheel spins and see how many credits we get from the wheel spins, shall we? So, how many times did I level up there? I leveled up about, I think that was eight or nine times, I think, there. Obviously, I'm already quite a high level anyway. So, let's open these seven wheel spins. There we go. Oh, we've got a white cowboy thing for there. I'm just going to skip very quickly through them. 200,000 for that one. There we go. Skip it again. Another 10,000. Skip it again. Another 140,000. And again. 15,000. Two more to go. 120,000, one last one, and we got a car. So some, somehow I've managed to get exactly 1 million credits for 50 minutes work. Obviously, you'll need a little wheel spin look um, for that. But even if you don't get very lucky on your wheel spins, you're still going to get half a million credits for 50 minutes work. So it's taken me 50 minutes to do that. If we divide a million by 50... I got exactly 20,000 credits every minute that I did that race. I started at 12 o'clock and now it's only quarter to one. And I am over a million credits more than I was before. Along with that, I've leveled up. And along with that as well, I've also leveled up my road racing series. So I highly recommend all of you go do this race right now. It's very quick, very easy and reliable to do. You can get up to 20,000 credits per minute that it takes you to do this race. That's essentially 20,000 credits per lap, which is really, really good. So I recommend you go do this, ladies. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. And bear in mind, I wasn't even using a Forza Edition. And that's saying something. So, but anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I will see you all in the next video.